Monday, Foxes, and welcome back. Happy New Year. We are in 2024. You are halfway done with this school year. Can you believe it? It has flown by, but welcome back. It is January, so let's get started with these announcements. So we are in a new month, which means we have a new word. This word this month is excellence, which is striving to be the best you can be and doing the best you can. You can do this by setting small goals and working hard to achieve them, trying your best every day, every day and never giving up. So our strategy for this month is to read or listen to instructions and to follow them carefully. That's going to be very, very important this month, and we will celebrate our students with excellence at the end of January. All right, just a quick reminder, because we are back. If you are in the Moana Play, make sure that if you have practice uh, this week that you are there from 345 to 530 at Weaver. All right, we do have a minimum day this week, so don't forget to tell your parents. On Wednesday, you will get out at 1.30. It is iReady testing week. This week we are taking on the reading iReady test. Please take your time and try your best. You have as much time as you need. Uh, we are excited to see the growth that you have had this year so that we can make sure that we are helping you the best that we can here at Farmdale. All right, just to let you know, next Monday we uh, do have a school holiday in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So next Monday there will be no school. All right, so some reminders as we come back uh, from vacation with basketball and soccer as we start the new year. This is a reminder that if you are playing too rough on the basketball court or the soccer field, you will lose the privilege to play these sports. Rough play leads to injuries and to arguments and to all of those things. So if you enjoy playing basketball and you enjoy playing soccer, let's make sure we play by the rules so that we can keep playing it. All right, so we are back to can you finish it during lunch? All food and drinks need to be finished in the cafeteria. Uh, we have students who are sneaking that food out um, after and they're trying to go put it in backpacks. No, if you can't eat it during lunch, then don't bring it. And this also includes after school. We should not be seeing anyone eating food on the way to the bus, the walker's gate, or the car pickup. When you get where you're going, you can eat. So once you get into the car, if your parents have food for you, you can eat in the car. Please don't eat around campus. We want to keep the campus clean, and we don't want anyone choking on any food around campus. All right, name calling. So a little bit of information on name calling. Name calling is bullying. It makes you look bad. It hurts others. You can't undo what you say. It leads to bigger problems. Even if you are joking, words still hurt. So please, if you're out there playing games with each other and you're thinking it's funny, you, one name can just stop everything and cause a big issue. So let's make sure we are being kind to each other. So do this instead. Use the person's real name. Give compliments. Be positive. Say nothing. If there's nothing nice to say, don't say anything. Walk away and get help for what bothers you. So if somebody says something that bothers you, please come get help. We are here to help you and have a conversation so that you guys understand why it hurts someone else's feelings. All right, tag is not allowed at recess. Please make sure that you are not playing tag or freeze tag. Any sort of chasing is considered tag. We want you safe. All right, again, one quick reminder as we come back, because it's going to still be cold, is there are not blankets. Blankets are not allowed uh, on the playground. Um, it is not part of the dress code. Um, and slippers are not allowed at school. You need to wear proper shoes that you can wear to PE. All right, we have an executive board meeting this week for the student council. It'll be on Tuesday after school in Mrs. Cecil's class. And then on Thursday, we'll have the council meeting for all class representatives at 8 a.m. in the library. All right, we have flagpole this week because we want to celebrate the new year. So this is our first flagpole of the 2024 year. Let's cheer to a new year. Mrs. Uh, Elving's class will lead the way in fourth grade. And it is neon day. So make sure to wear that nice, bright neon colors. You know, Mrs. Spillman will be wearing her neon. 
All right, our Live the Creed goal is five, but if you get there, don't stop. Let's see where we are. We have a class. Mrs. Vu's class has already made it to five. Let's see how many they can get because the class with the most Live the Creed certificates is going to get a little extra. So let's see um, which class can earn that. And if you see a friend about to make a bad choice, say, hey, let's not do that today. All right, attendance in December, we had a little bit of a dip. We had some people leave. We had a lot of people sick, but we are back in January and hope everyone is healthy. A fourth grade is still in the lead at 93.2. Not too far behind, though, is fifth grade and then third grade. So our higher grades are here at school more. So let's see who can get to school and see where we are next week. All right, Mrs. Birnbaum sent a shout out for her class's perfect attendance on December 19th. All right, it is that time for kindness ticket winners. Let's see who is our winners for this week. All right, we have Alex from Mrs. Wally's class for being safe, being responsible, being respectful, and being kind. Congratulations, Alex. We have Isaac from Mrs. Cecil's class for being respectful and being kind. All right, let's see. I'm going in the bottom. We have Josie Zaragoza for being kind from Mrs. Vu's class. Congratulations, Josie. All right. We have a duplicate. Alex won twice, um, and this one was he helped look for a student's water bottle. So he had all four checked again. So, Alex, I'll have to make your prize just a little bit better this week since you were pulled twice. That's crazy. Let's see. Then we have Leah from Mrs. Wally's class for being safe, being responsible, being respectful, and being kind. And let's pick one more student. Let's see. We have Heather from Mrs. Ellison's class for being responsible. Well, congratulations to Alex, Isaac, Josie, Leah, and Heather. I will be around this week to get you those prizes. And our quote of the week, since we are, uh, we have our Martin Luther King Jr. Day coming up next week, I wanted to make sure we had a quote from him, is if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. So make sure you are doing everything you can to be the best person you can be. And don't give up. Keep going. All right, if it is your birthday this week, um, at the end of the video, make sure to go stop by the library to get that birthday book. All right, I want you all to have a great week. Make sure you make good choices. It's so great to see you all again this week. So let's get those foxes up to be a fox. Repeat in your mind. Be safe, be responsible, respectful, and kind. Have a great week. Bye.